What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? We're going on to the trail, the bike trail. It is supposed to be dangerous. Me, from Kansas, I don't go anywhere without a weapon of sorts. See, you always gotta come prepared. Babe, why don't you tell them what we're up against? <clears throat> well, the thing about the bike trail and why my dad told me to stay off the bike trail ever since I was even really little is that there's been a slew of murders on the bike trail. There's this person who, when I was growing up, they called him the machete man, even though they don't really know the gender because they've never caught the person. They attacked this one gentleman named, uh, I believe it was David Grubbs, mm -hmm. and he was friends with my friend Anika. So that affected the people I knew. And then there have been other people who have also been attacked and hurt. And when they find the victims, they have their heads nearly chopped off. And the police who reported it at the time said that all of them seem like they've been cut by a machete. Hence why they call him the machete person. I'm not that one to be intimidated by such. I've dealt with a lot of things in my life. You want to learn more about it? I'm right here. <laughs> Go to my page on Facebook. First look up Matthew Gilliland and add me as a friend if you want to be my friend. Then I'll guide you to horror stories where I tell you about my paranormal experiences that I've dealt with in Kansas before I came over here to Oregon. So, we will record again once we get there. So here we are, we're gonna go. Just, we all need to be careful with doing this. Aaron needs to not be loud. Aaron, do not be loud. You must follow my simple instructions. And once it gets too dark, we're going to have to restart the recording with the light. Here we go, motherfuckers. Which way do we take? Ahead or left? Let's say... We could probably take the straight on path now that it's lighter. And we don't have to worry probably about dogs. Dogs? Remember the dog that was barking last time? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm a very dangerous man when it comes to fight or flight. And I don't choose flight unless I have a very good reason to. What What's that smell? People up ahead. What kind of people? Who knows? Oh, oh. guy, straight ahead. All right, Aaron, you're really loud. Also, it's kind of dark to see you now, babe. All right, let's start restart the recording. Okay. All right, can you see me? Yep. Continue. So I'm not from here. Tell me more about this machete killing motherfucker. Well, I don't know a lot about it because after the killings got too much, cops started reporting it. I just know that there's been both men and women killed by them, and they're all on the bike path. Were they by themselves? Yeah. There was never, like, two people or more. It was always one person that was by themselves. It's happened in broad daylight and at night. Like, David Grubbs was killed in broad daylight.
I hear people talking. Aaron, put the flashlight down. What chance would this shed and killing motherfucker have against me? Well... After all, I did move here from Kansas. Yes. And in Kansas, we learned to get shit done. Yep. I'd say not a very good chance, but it is true that they haven't been caught, but it is true that they say all the people that have been hurt, you know, look kind of, I wouldn't say weak and frail, but like they wouldn't really have a good fighting back chance. Like I would. Yeah. Like they don't lift weights as a hobby like you do. And knows how to use their strength to their advantage. Yeah. I don't lift weights for the looks. I lift it for the extra strength. For battle. In this case, I need to. And I already have British SAS training from my dad and Marine training from my dad. My dad Try taught to me... stay close to Sam. My dad taught me some things. To not use on people unless it's absolutely necessary. Oh, it got colder. What's that smell? It smells like dead grass. Oh, that smell makes me want to gag. Reminds me of Kansas. <laughs> I used to smell that all the time whenever I lived out in the country. I love the smell of fresh cut grass, but if that's the smell of dead grass, I am not too fond of it. That is dead grass. <sighs> Oh. Hey, my nose is sensitive. Well, if we ever lived out in the country, you would get used to that kind of smell. <laughs> it's the smell of the night, is what it is. Rolling in, taking away the smell of the day. Grass in the night smells better to me than grass during the day. My favorite grass smell is when it's freshly cut. I just, oh, I love that smell. And then I love to roll so in the grass. So is that surrounded by forest? Yep. Yeah, we need to stay in a tight formation line until we go in there. The shadow looks like doing something fucking weird. <laughs> And no, ladies and gentlemen, we're not trying to find Slender Man. No, we don't dabble in that shit. Nope. I came across that motherfucker once. Not doing it again. And I'm never doing it. You just take an ass walk in the bike trail. I don't dabble in that shit. Ooh, I could have broke that. Don't broke your sticky. I feel like a soldier marching in battle. <laughs> My ancestry is Scottish. We fight. I'm half Scottish. My dad is 75. My grandma's 100%. And if I have a kid, Probably 25 to 35. Well, I have Scottish in my blood too. And Irish. And Viking. <laughs> so guys, we are getting ready to hit into some dangerous territory. So you guys are going to notice that I'm going to be on guard a lot. And Aaron, you're going to have to quiet your footsteps once we go in. That way, if we do run into trouble, he won't find us. And then you leave him to me. 
I doubt you that motherfucker can murder me. There's no way, though, that I want you to tell me to take off and leave you behind, baby. Nope, nobody's gonna sit back and fucking or run. We'll stay together. We'll stay and fight. Look at, I look at it this way. There's three of us and one of him or her. I really don't like any women, but if it's a person that's trying to murder me, by all means, it's war. You're ready to tighten formation. Ooh. Skeeter. I know why they're after me. Hmm. Fossil. I squished it. And I squished the one on my tricep. My advice to you all is, don't do something stupid. Like this? Like this, unless you know how to use your strength, how to use tactical. I just sniffed a skeeter. I was wondering what the hell that noise was. It went up my nose. It smells like Skeeter. We just walked over broken glass. Getting ready to hit it. But yeah, like I was saying. Don't do anything that can get you killed unless you know what the hell you're doing and how to use either weaponry or your own hands. Tighten formation. to be hiding from you, waiting for your approach. Like right now, I don't see anybody. Look for faces in the trees. I know how this is gonna go. If we do run into him, he's gonna try and take us out one by one. I tell it's just me and him. Here, it keeps walking far ahead of us. Stop walking here. Ahead of us. Guys, this is very dangerous. Don't go on this fucking shit. Unless you know what you're doing. And whenever you do this, be very observant of your surroundings. One small fuck up could end your life. Or is this thing go? All the way to Ashland. Oh wait, there's a gate. I guess they blocked it off. I 
sure that's not a bridge. Oh, maybe it is. I've never been this far, so. Oh yeah, small water. Oh God, Skeeters are gonna kill us. <laughs> Skeeters. Yeah, still in the Medford Estates? Yep. Oh yeah, I forgot how big Medford Estates were. Yep. That was a goose. No, I just keep looking behind. Just in case. Does this ever circle around? No. It goes straight to Ashland. Are we going to go back while it's still light? So there's two trails. Yeah. One all the way over there. Right? Yeah. Yep, one going north, one going south. We're on the southbound Stop. trail. Stop. Erin. There's the freeway. Yeah, we're heading due south. What are you, GPS? <laughs> Look at this coast of California to south, past Ashland. Well, let's find us. Nothing. Okay. I don't think he's going to come out and play because he knows there's somebody that will meet his match and take him down. <coughs> Stop. Approach yeah. slowly by that tree. I definitely saw some move further down the corner past my leg. Keep your head up. Keep your ears open. And keep your eyes open too. It gets darker down there, babe. What? It gets darker down there. Does it? See? We'll go a little bit into the darker parts and come back. Behind us, look behind us. Nothing. Yeah. Always got to be aware. Yep.
<clears throat> Here's where the Medford Estates and yeah. I didn't like a post of some kind. And there's a mile marker 17. Oh, that's when they do um, the bike challenges for like bike a bike bikeathons. Is my treading through water? It doesn't it's gonna be wet water. The creek is right there. There's three of us and one of him. Do you wanna go back? What? Do you wanna go back? A little bit more further and then we're gonna come back. We're not, wa not walking 17 miles. Oof. I can do five. Okay, this is what. Stop. Stop. Did anybody just hear that twig break? Yeah. Where did it come from? Behind us over that way by the water. Turn back. All right, motherfucker. You're not doing with some Oregon person, you're doing with somebody from Kansas. Not afraid of you. Or your fucking machete. I dealt with the machete wielding motherfucker before and I took him out. So if you got balls, come out here. I'll give you a lesson. Instead of your sneak attacks, why don't you heat, meet me head on? <laughs> why? That's where I saw someone back there with a mile mark because it's 17. Stop. Just standing there with that little silly mark with it. I swear I saw someone just standing there. That was his mile mark for 17. You're right on behind us too. We could be working together. To be more than one. The guy's a coward. He doesn't know what true power is. Fucking Jason Voorhees, motherfucking wannabe. <coughs> Getting closer? No, that's not far. Hmm? Oh, good. I want to see a machine loading motherfucker. I'd rather watch Jason fucking Voorhees. Yeah. This man with the machete does not know what the true meaning of psychotic is. Could be a girl that no one knows as a girl or guy, either way. Mm -hmm. Whoever is coward. They are. See a man with my stature? Well, you got a good look at the person. And we'll walk out telling the tales of how he survived it. Again. What a piss poor excuse of a killer.
Whatever they just stays in the darkness. Oh, that's where most pussies hide is in the darkness. He, she, she, shim probably knows my might. Just by looking at my stature knows I know how to use my strength. Damn, I could have gone for 10 grand. God knows what I could have done with 10 grand. I know, seriously. Get your career up and going. Oh yeah, tenfold. Mostly help my dad with his medical bills. Pussy ass motherfucker. Piss poor excuse of a killer. It'd be one hell of a behemoth battle. Yeah. So you would easily overpower them. Yep. Your sleeper hold. And just using my hand to. <coughs> yep. We're impaling them with this. Look behind us. Are we being followed? Doesn't seem like it. Yeah, we are. You see something? Yeah, he's too much of a coward to get closer. If he really wanted us, he would have been charging at us by now. Piss on him. I he's, spit on him. He's off. waiting until someone's by themselves and let's try to jump. Oh, so three is too much? Yep. I think they're too much of a coward. They, people have on. They want to do it when someone's back is turned and they run in the darkness. You know, our back's turned. He could have easily came to us. But he knows he probably would have hurt him. Yep. Hearing that. Fuck this dude. Keep looking behind us. I was slowly inching closer. If you're a real killer, you would have taken this all on. It shows that I have balls. And I'm not running away at all. If I was running, you guys would have seen me bolt. I'm just walking. Because I'm not afraid of a dumb shit like that. Look behind us again. Not from this side. Nope. Fucking pussy. <laughs> I've taken on scarier people than him. Or her. I just mopped him and he's not doing anything about it. Get your pussy. Yeah, I'm still mocking him. He's a piece of shit. There's more excuse of a fucking killer you are. <laughs> For somebody who has a machete, wouldn't they be more ballsy? Against they, a stick? They also pick and choose their opponents. They want to go after someone they know they can win against. Oh, so I'm an impossible task. Yes. See, you just walk up like that, they know that you're invincible. You show no fear. They're waiting for someone to come who, who acts and looks scared. They prey on the weak. Not those kind of people. They prey on the weak. Not the strong. Nope. They know they'll lose. So if I came in here by myself, they would have gone after me. Where are we going, Biff? Are we going to go back down there? Oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> I would not feel strong if I was here by myself. 
instantly sunk sink a lot for me. You need to give off this aura of I'm invincible, you can't touch me. And courage. And courage and bravery. Why does it get cold here? I don't know. I feel it's so open. On a spiritual level, babe, what do you feel? If I pay attention, that risks something following us, though. Do you really think it's okay to actually pay attention? Nope, I'm not even paying attention. Oh, I'm just saying to you. Is it Without easy? listening, we're being watched. Without listening, there's sadness. There's a bit of anger, but anger because they were done wrong. So you feel right for me chasing after them? No. A lot of not very wise, not a good thing, be careful kind of stuff. Oof. Rock. For those of you who have perished out here, I am sorry. One day I will avenge you. One day I will avenge you. And bring the man to justice. Or a woman. I'm sorry I tried. But the little pecker nut wouldn't come out and play. Probably it's because of my size and my demeaning stature and my condescending look. Right, this man or woman would not face me. But soon you guys will come to rest. Are you gonna keep hunting the machete killer? Yeah, I will. I'll pick and choose my days when he least expects me. Or she. What's that sound? Where's it coming from? Like all around us. It's like packing. It's what? Clacking? Clacking. Like something hitting against something. Well, I'm armed and I'm dangerous. Well, same. I brought Dad's sword. Is somebody coming close to us? I don't know. Beep. <laughs> One day, I'll have a whole community to come join There's a dog behind us. Barking. Doesn't sound big. No, but I'm saying if it's barking behind us, that means it saw something back there. It's not barking at us. Here, you want the flashlight, babe? You can see behind us that way. Aaron, did you just laugh? What? Did you just chuckle? No. Then who? I was like, what the fuck? I heard someone chuckle. No. I'm not afraid of whoever's chuckling. They just try to come up and sneak attack us. But I'll hear them coming. The only person I won't hear coming is my dad. <laughs> That'd be neat if your dad was here. I'd be like, Dad? One, how'd you get here? Two, don't do that ever again. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna start a community to search for this man. This killer. Right here, right here. Okay. Well, what was that black thing that was moving? 
No idea. Anything behind us? Guys, be very careful. There's an animal around here. I heard a uh, cat meow earlier. Yes. Like I said, me and you search for this man. This man is across the cat. There's a reward for him. Is it ten thousand dollars? I didn't even know there was a reward. Aaron's the one that mentioned it. What's the reward, Aaron? Aaron's behind us. Aaron, what's the reward? I think it's ten thousand or fifteen thousand. I forget. Point the camera on me. I'll look up when we get back to the house. So there you go, guys. It's ten to fifteen thousand for this man who brought the justice. Those of you who help me, I'll split it. But it just can't be some random person. It's by yourself. That's a stupid idea. You're going to need more than one pair of eyes and one pair of ears. You see a dead body, immediately stop what the fuck you're doing and call the police. Where I'm from, which is Parsons, Kansas. I was originally born in Independence, raised in Oswego. Where I'm from, living on the country, you take care of what needs to be taken care of. You do what's right. There was a lot of people that were done in justice. I'll see you guys in the next video.